All right, what is up, guys? It's Evan Miller here with a new video today. Today is Friday. We got Sean here and uh, Charlie. You back yeah. there? What's up? So this is one of those uh, rehearsals where your singers like text you and oh, I can't make it. It's my son's birthday. I can't make it. Happy birthday, Curtis Outdoors. So <laughs> <laughs> we're here. The rehearsals room. I'll. I'll Bring that brightness up a little bit. Yes, you see the guitars are all here. The Budweiser girls are watching. It's a three-member rehearsal for Siren tonight. We're going to be working on Team Honor, which I got over here. I'm actually going to try to uh, sing the song, and I, I just noticed who the fuck touched my mic stand. <laughs> it's one of my biggest pet peeves when someone touches my mic stand. I like. Hey, guys. Welcome to today's video. It's Evan Miller here, and I'm in my office at Limelight Music. Uh... Like my uh, last uh, work vlog I did, a day in music retail, we're going to do something very similar. So we're going to go over a couple of uh, new Epiphone guitars, the Firebird and the Les Paul, and do a demo video. And I, obviously in this video, you guys will get the uncut version so you can see how I try to do this in one take with customers coming in and out of the store. It can get a little tricky. You, you want to move quick, so no mistakes, no um, no stutters, no nothing. So. You know, working in music retail, sometimes you end up um, buying a lot of stuff. So, some customers came in today looking for um, a vocal microphone. So, I sold them a PGA 48, sure. Well, I ended up discovering that we had one of these in stock. This is a uh, SE V7. This is like the new uh, industry standard microphone. I really look forward to hearing, uh, probably I'm going to let Steve sing through this because it's a higher quality mic than the 58 so that'll put Sean and I in 58s and Steve will get um this V7 but again I'm definitely gonna try this out when I get home I look forward to hearing it so yeah as you can see I'm doing some Skype lessons right now and just just hanging out it's just another day in music retail <laughs> Rick, can you hold this real quick? Yeah. We're going. Is my head sheet over there? Is my head in here almost? So I just want my head in here. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're rolling. Let me see. <clears throat> Hello, my friends, and welcome to Limelight Music. You want to do it without the mask? What? You want to do it without no, the mask? No, keep the mask on. It's uh, part of our... Uh, part of the thing. Yeah. Hello, my <laughs> friends. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Limelight Music. Today is a cool day to show you this um, wonderful 1960s era Gib or not Gibson, Epiphone Les Paul. So Epiphone recently reintroduced the Timeless Les Paul into their collection, adding a shorter headstock and some cool upgrades like the uh, mahogany body with a maple cap and the 60s era neck. This guitar, as you heard previously, has a big sound and is a great deal to get you into the guitar playing world. Does that work? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go too crazy. Yeah. All right, here, take this. Let me do the Firebird real quick. Oh, you already do it. I already played it. Uh, oh, I played it earlier, yeah. You just recorded it? Yeah. Oh, you got to cut Cut it yeah. yeah, I got me playing it and then I got me talking. Next is the uh, Epiphone Firebird. This is built to look like the classic Gibson Firebird, and as you heard here, it's got a very big sound. And you know, it's just a really cool, unique looking guitar if you want to look like Johnny Winter or uh, Alan Collins, Leonard Skinner. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to come by the store and check them out and take one home with you today. So, 
so in the video I filmed today, I demoed the Ice T Epiphone Les Paul. I wanted to show off a couple other uh, new tops that they come with. So this one is the one that I played in the video. This is the Ice T finish on the new Les Pauls. And then right next to it on our beautiful wall of Gibson and Epiphone, this is the Bourbon Burst. It's kind of got a nice uh, black s surrounding to the flame top. I get it in there so you can see it. It's a beautiful flame. And this is a fan favorite since the beginning, since the 50s. This is the classic gold top, the Epiphone Les Paul gold top. It, this one does have the fatter neck on it, the fatter 50s neck. I think these are just beautiful guitars that Epiphone's coming out with in 2020. And I definitely think you should swing by the store and try one out because you might end up taking one home with you. Alright, so it turns out I'm actually uh, going to be running sound tonight at a gig for uh, Beside the Point. And for those of you who don't know what Beside the Point is, it's my friend Diego's band. And Diego actually stopping in here at Limelight today. And he's checking out the new, uh, what is it, the S7 or V7 from SE Microphones. V7. And I think he's digging it. So, yeah, yeah this is a beer party. So, it's a German company. It's definitely worth going <laughs> to the party if it's a beer party. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We'll check back in when we get there. So, this has now turned into a full day vlog involving some Epiphone guitars and some other stuff, so it's always fun. All right, so we're here at this beer party. I got my uh, beer drinking hat, and I brought uh, Diego a beer drinking hat. We're, I'm gonna run sound, apparently, but right now he's uh, doing the dirty work, so yeah. He's, he just bought a new Fender Strat from Limelight. You wanna tell us about it, Diego? Yeah, it's a uh, candy apple red with a uh, maple fretboard. It has a fretboard. So what he's saying is that the store I work at, Limelight Music, he purchased an American professional like the one you guys saw that I bought. He got the candy apple red and he decided he was going to put a maple neck on it instead of the rosewood. So he's going for that kind of David Gilmore Live Aid look. I'm looking forward to hearing it tonight. Alright, we're going to welcome to my YouTube channel my oldest friend here since uh, preschool actually. Yeah. have been the boy since age three. Uh, he's uh, Nick, in Diego's band, right. Small World. I met Diego when I was like, I don't know, 12. A young, young, young man. He likes him that age. Diego likes his guys that age, so, yeah. So right now I'm just sitting at the little uh, soundboard deck I got. You see the board right there. People are starting to roll into this party, and like I said, I don't know, the only guys I know are the guys in the band and one person at the party. I don't really know any of these people, but it is a beer party, so he, I'm gonna be kicking back here for a long time. It's gonna just sit here and watch the band. This is the stage over here. I guess that's the stage. You can see that, kinda on the angle, the tripod angle. But yeah, uh, throughout the party, I'll just periodically check in and just say what's up. It's a lot of fun. So these guys aren't even like three songs in their set list and some asshole neighbors already complaining like we're just trying to have a beer party and yeah this guy over there he's sitting out here watching waiting to call Oakland County Sheriff on us well I'm smoking a um, Punch Grand Piro right now great smoke it'll be a fun Saturday if the cops don't show up alright you guys can see it's getting dark out here lighting is terrible the punch is amazing, the party's great. I'm literally just sitting here kicking back so hard in the hills and th these people are really enjoying having a live band here. You know, they're up here, they're down there, but actually no one's wearing a mask, which is kind of weird, but Max keeps coming over here for a puff of my stogie, like right now. It's probably, it's, we're getting down to that last third, so it's getting a little, uh, a little bitter, but honestly, that, that doesn't bother me. Chase it with a little Bud Light, you're good to go. So, I don't know, I look rough. I know I look rough, the cowboy hat line kind of left me dented. Let's see if this mic is even on. Perfect. Welcome home to the party. Um, like I said, I say um, curveballs get thrown in my life all the time and 
That was one of them. The neighbor was being a complete dick and kept trying to blast his music over ours. And, you know, uh, we were, the band was not happy with him and he was not happy with the band. So I left. Saturday night, I'm going to maybe kick back downstairs and write some songs for Siren. I, you know, this is a really cool video because it started off today with um, me demoing some guitars at work. And then I taught some lessons, gave you guys some more insight into what it's like working in music retail. Next thing I know, I'm at a party. You know, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing how wacky my life can be sometimes. As always, it was a lot of fun playing Epiphone guitars today. I think the new line is super cool. Other than that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said in the previous video, I am planning on doing a lot of new content, two to three videos a week. Enjoy. I will see you guys next time. Peace.